in this video i'm gonna bring you the updates that we add on a catalyst mod because we only add the tier one machines as you can see on the back of my character but now we have the tier two so let's see what they do and how much they have improved one thing i'm gonna tell you straight away you'll be surprised with how they look so if you enjoy want to see more make sure to drop your like and subscribe especially that subscribe i'm trying to reach with all subscribers and if you actually enjoy the content and want to see more you might as well subscribe so without more delays let's jump into the so just to give you a little bit of a quick rundown, this is the T1 machines. You can see they say Stone Farm T1, Wood Farm T1, and this is Resin Farm T1. They have a maximum capacity of 20 slots. Let's check the tier 2 now. Tier 2 of the Resin Farm. Nice visual upgrade. I love to see that this is bigger as a structure. It's more like a factory, so I enjoy that. This can produce 60 resources per hour and he has a maximum storage of 35 and again the way you collect resources is just pressing e and extract and will go into your inventory that's basically how it works for all the machines by the way this is your new stone harvester tier 2 stone harvester and again the story repeats itself 60 resources per hour and a maximum storage of 35 this is your new tier 2 3 farm and again everything repeats itself 60 resources per hour and the maximum storage room is 35. i'm gonna just show you the crafting recipe so you don't think this is way too overpowered the tier 2 resin fermenter it needs 100 fine wood 100 stone 100 resin and the workbench of course so you can tell that this is pretty expensive to craft the tier 2 stone harvester is expensive too four bronze pickaxes 100 stone 100 resin 20 settling core and the crafting bit and your tier 2 3 harvester needs 100 stone 100 fine wood 50 ancient seeds and the workbench of course so you are seeing a comment on the screen right now from why just why and i do appreciate this comment it's very nice to read these things it really justifies all the work that i put into my channel and into my videos but also these comments come with a difficulty which is putting my ego in check because I am just an ordinary guy that is doing ordinary stuff. I wake up every single day, I do the best that I can to have the best videos with the conditions that I have right now, and I try to stretch myself and to learn new abilities and new things that I might need for my YouTube channel or to give you better content overall. So I do enjoy these comments a lot, but I also have to work harder on put my ego in check because of it. I am an ordinary guy and I will be forever. It doesn't matter if I have 300 subscribers or 1000, I will always be an ordinary guy. Everything I managed to do so far was through hard work and dedication. So that's pretty much what I want to say about the comment and appreciate the comment because it's really, it really gives you a boost on the work you're doing and how much you're putting in because putting my heart and soul into this channel guys and you have no idea how much this means to me and it is what it is so thank you for the comment and thank you everyone for watching the video is over subscribe <laughs>